you want to hear about some of the misconceptions about skin and different tools, this is the video for you. Hey everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at Peaches Skincare. You can also visit us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok to learn a little bit more about who we are and our or my Holistic Lisa Skincare. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a peach already, I'm so grateful for you. You just have no idea. And I hope that you will all spread the word because I am an anomaly on the beauty channels and I need all the support I can get. What do I mean by that? I am 57 and a half. I've never had a needle or procedure touch my skin. I wear no foundation and concealer, although I know people love to play with makeup. I just am here to encourage you to age beautifully, to know that as we age, we get better. We are not, um, not beautiful because we have expression or maybe our 11 is a little deep one day than another, or maybe our eyes are a little swollen because we're having allergies that day. We are beautiful as we age, and I'm going to show you, if you watch, how to take care of your skin and actually make it better as you age. Um, when looking for an esthetician, look for someone who has been doing this for a long time. Uh, someone who isn't touching their face and you know, sometimes I think you need, because you're asking me, look for someone more mature. Um, but that's a whole nother video. What are the different misconceptions? I'm going to start with one and hopefully it grabs you. We're going to show before and after with this one. And I am always taking care of my skin. I always have. It's just part of what I do. In fact, there's a video either before this or after this about traveling with skincare and I bring it all. But one of the misconceptions I hear all the time is you're just going to fall. There's nothing you can do about the collagen and there's nothing you can do about the muscles. So I thought I would show you just in one month the changes I made in my skin or the changes that are continuing to happen with my skin because I maintain my massaging, my facial yoga at night, my gua sha. So this is a before picture. And the lighting might be a little different. Some of you will say that. I don't love before and afters either. I think that people really change them and adjust them to make them be what you want, what they want you to see. But this is real lighting and the best we could do. But this is before. Now this is after. Now I hope that John will put them right next to each other, I'm probably blocking out my face. The before shows how my skin uh, was you know where it was at that time but this is just a month later how much it's lifted don't let anyone tell you you can't change your skin you absolutely can facial yoga works pushing that bone and those muscles up works you will hear me say it time and time again blood flow creates oxygenation of skin cells and collagen at any age meaning massage Look at a younger woman who doesn't take care of her skin and you will already see sagging. Just take care of your skin. The skin is a remarkable organ and it will adhere to your muscle and it will firm more. Now, am I expecting my skin to look like um, the fattiness I had as a teenager or in my 20s? No, but I don't need that. I just want to look like me as I age. I want you to be able to look at a picture of me from 20 years ago and say, yes, that's Lisa. Now, I am not putting anyone down who does things to their face. I just want you to ask yourself why you're doing it. And I want you to say to yourself, if you're so happy and so content, why do you feel like you need to stand in front of the mirror every day and pick apart your face because of ridiculous beauty standards? You're perfect. You're beautiful. Don't do it. Another one is that foundation and concealer, we'll add concealer, protects your skin. I get this a lot from people who love foundation and concealer or other channels that get frustrated when I comment, which I just don't do anymore. Here's the thing. I want you to ask yourself a couple things. When you look at a man in your life, son, husband, dad, do they have a lot of melasma? They don't because they don't put all of this junk on their face and then go out into the sun and have a chemical reaction that affects their melanocytes and damages their melasma. 
When you put all of that junk on your face, and that includes bad sunscreens, that's a whole nother video, but I only recommend zinc oxide or zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. When you go outside, you create a chemical reaction, it damages your melanocytes, and you have dark spots on your face. And then you have to put all of this junk and gunk and gook on your face to cover it up. I have nothing on my skin. Sometimes you may feel like I look a little browner. I don't know, I'm a brown girl, but I don't have these issues because I don't put all of that stuff on my face. I want you to uncover your skin. I want your skin to be the best foundation. It does not protect your skin. And when you add sunscreen to your foundations and concealers, that's more chemicals. That's more problems you're gonna have. And when you look at someone in a picture, on a video, and their neck looks beautiful, but all of this is broken out and really not great skin, it's because of all of the makeup. They're not putting it down here. They're putting it here and your skin is having a reaction. So remember that you are going to cause more issues because you're trying to cover up those issues. That leads me into baseball caps. So many people reach out to me every day. Um, you can reach out to me at Lisa at Peaches Skincare, and I will answer you if I get your uh, email. Um, baseball caps, they'll tell me, but I wear my baseball cap, Lisa, and I think, oh my gosh, are they watching my videos? If you're not wearing a wide-brimmed hat, forget about it. If you're not wearing a wide-brimmed hat, it doesn't matter if you have sunscreen on. You're never going to have enough. Different environments have different heat, different sun temperatures. We're closer to the equator, we're further away, we're snowboarding and the snow and the sun's reflected off the snow, we're in the water and the sun's reflected off the water. Yes, you need to have sunscreen on outside, but if you're not wearing a wide brimmed hat, forget about it. There is a picture of a long haul truck driver. I don't think we'll show it, but maybe if we can look it up on Google and it shows where he has a driven in his truck and on one side of his face, it is just bad where the other side is great. He never protected his skin. When you wear a baseball cap, you are leaving all of this unprotected, your neck as well, and the sides of your face. When I see melasma or damaged melanocytes on clients, it's because it was all over here and they never protected their skin. So wear a lovely wide brimmed hat. There are thousands to choose from. You will find one. Don't set your ego aside. You're beautiful with a hat on. You're not gonna ruin your hair. Just wear a wide brimmed hat. Another misconception is that Botox fillers are preventative. I hear this all the time, especially from younger women. They are not preventative. They want you to think that they are preventative. A doctor that is ethical will be honest with you and tell you they are not preventative. They are actually a not good for your body, not good for your system. But when you stop working the muscles of your face by paralyzing it because you're so concerned about a beautiful wrinkle that tells your story, that makes you smile. Um, have you ever seen someone with a lot of Botox? They can't even move their face and they aren't showing their beautiful expression. And if that's what you wanna do, do it. But I hope I can encourage you with this. 42 muscles in our face and 43 with our neck. When you stop them from working, you stop those muscles from working. So you're no longer building the muscles of your face, just like the muscles of your body. I still work out at almost 58 years old and I lift weights a few times a week because I want to encourage my muscles. I want to keep them strong. And that's what you're doing with your face. You're encouraging the muscles. You don't need to go and have injectables done to have the line of your jaw look beautiful. Just do your facial yoga because you're going to chase that needle for the rest of your life. It's going to stop working and eventually you will destroy distort your facial features. So big misconception. Um, lastly, because I don't want this video to run too long, um, there is a misconception that if you massage your skin, you're moving it around too much. If you use a little microcurrent, you're moving it around too much. 
Not true. It goes back to what I just talked about, your muscles. You want to move those muscles. You want to move the muscles of your face and your skin will adhere to those muscles and be more structured. Trust me, I see it every day. I have facial yoga videos, I have massage videos. It works and I said it at the beginning of the video, when you massage, you create blood flow, which creates oxygenation of skin cells and collagen at any age. I hope this helped you. I think these videos you're all loving. So if you have some questions, ask them below and I'll do a video with more Q&A or more misconceptions later. If I miss something you're curious about, just ask me. And I guess I wanna say one more thing. Be mindful of the tools you're buying as well. Everyone is jumping on the bandwagon. If I haven't showed it and you're curious, ask about it. And if I've showed it, it means it works. It doesn't mean I'm trying to get money. It doesn't mean I'm being dishonest. It really does work. But if you're not using great skincare, forget about it. Become a peach. You get me as your holistic master esthetician. I answer you. I answer your emails. And I can't tell you the hundreds of people that have my, my cell phone number to text me. I hope I've encouraged you. I hope you have an amazing day and you all uncover your true confidence.